The April 15th deadline is closing in on us quickly. As a business owner, you have a lot of things that you need to take care of, and filing your tax return is probably one of those things that you put at the bottom of your list. I get it. I understand how hard it can be. And I've talked to many business owners who dread filing their tax returns. It's something that comes around every year, so you would think it would get easier, but every year the same feelings come up. There are ways that you can prepare for your taxes and avoid all of those feelings that you have. Maybe for you, it's anxiety or dread. For others, it may be confusion or overwhelm. In today's podcast episode, I'm diving in and talking about a conversation that I had last week with an entrepreneur that really surprised me. I want to bring this situation up so that if you're feeling the same way that this entrepreneur was feeling, I'm hoping I can help shift your perspective and help you make sure that you're handling your business in the best way possible when it comes to the upcoming tax deadline. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. The tax deadline will be here before you know it, and I want to make sure that you avoid any additional stress and find out how you can avoid those negative feelings when preparing for your tax return. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business, you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated, streamlined, and efficient way possible. That also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com slash profit. Or if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, Follow your heart and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right. As an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back. 
The April 15th tax deadline is approaching us pretty quickly. If you're a sole proprietor and you file your business tax return on your personal return, such as a Schedule C tax filer, you may be finding yourself scrambling at the last minute to get everything in order to file your tax return on time. If you filed an extension for your business's March 15th tax deadline, but you want to make sure that you're getting everything ready to file so that you can file your personal return on time, you also may be rushing to get everything done to meet this April 15th deadline. When it comes to filing taxes, I know there are a lot of feelings that come up for business owners, as well as individuals who are simply filing their personal tax returns. But today, I want to talk about a situation that I was in last week. I was meeting with a few entrepreneurs, and the topic of getting tax returns came up. One of the entrepreneurs said that they needed to get all of their tax information ready for their tax preparer, but they were finding themselves doing pretty much anything but getting ready to get their tax information ready. When I asked why they were putting it off, their answer was that they were afraid to talk to their tax preparer. As a coach, I work with my clients to help them overcome fears they have in their business. And this was the perfect example that I wanted to talk to you about today. Do you or have you ever felt this same way when it comes to talking to your tax preparer? As the conversation went on, the entrepreneur told me that they knew they had made mistakes in their bookkeeping and they didn't know how to fix them. They were embarrassed about talking to their tax preparer about them, and they kept putting off doing the rest of their bookkeeping because of it. Now, as it was getting closer to the deadline, the dread that they were feeling just kept growing. By helping this entrepreneur understand how they could start eliminating the dread and anxiety they were experiencing and start enjoying their business again was amazing to see. And if you're in a situation similar to this, you need to check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching programs where I can help you too. I also want you to know that your accountants, tax preparers, and bookkeepers, they're there to help you as well as all of their clients. This is their overall goal. This is what they work towards with each client. They have seen many different situations when dealing with financial information with their clients. If you're in a situation like this entrepreneur, I can promise you that your accountant or tax preparer has probably seen this exact situation with another client or something very similar. I want you to know that there should never be a time when you're afraid to talk to your tax preparer, your accountant, or your bookkeeper. It doesn't matter if you think your situation is small and you don't want to bother your tax preparer or you think the issue is really big and you're afraid it's going to be a mess when you have to fix the problem. You need to talk to your tax preparer or your accountant and tackle the situation as soon as you can. It's kind of like ripping a band-aid off. You just have to do it. The relationship you have with your tax preparer or your accountant needs to be a relationship that you are comfortable with. If you're not comfortable talking with your tax preparer, you might want to look for a new tax preparer. You are sharing some of your most intimate business information with this person, and you need to feel comfortable. You should be able to create a connection with them, and they should never make you feel embarrassed about the order of your books or how much you did or didn't make this year. Remember, your tax preparer has experienced many situations and has probably seen situations just like your business is experiencing already. They are there to help you. They would rather have you talk to them sooner than later so that if there is an issue, it can get addressed quickly. Your tax preparer is there to offer you peace of mind and you should get what you're paying for. They're there to help you save time and money when it comes to paying taxes and they should be able to help relieve the stress that you're feeling. They can often help you with more than just tax preparation as well. They can help you with improving your processes to make your bookkeeping easier, help you be more knowledgeable of the tax law, and help you save from overpaying your taxes. Your tax preparer can give you ideas on how you can save time in the future by helping you know exactly what information they need to prepare your taxes. If you're making mistakes in your bookkeeping, 
The goal is to find those mistakes, fix them, and learn from the mistakes so you don't make them in the future and continue to move your business forward. Take the time to talk to your tax preparer and let them know about the issues that you're facing as well as the fears that you have so that they can help you. You should be able to trust your tax preparer. They're there for you and want to work with you to ensure that you're having the most positive experience you can with them. If you're working on getting the information ready to prepare your tax return right now, you've probably been avoiding it for quite a while. You can make it simple going forward by talking with your tax preparer, finding out exactly what they need, and how you should gather the information for them. You've heard that nothing is certain except for death and taxes. You might as well be proactive. Make sure that you're setting up systems in the future so that you don't wait until the last minute. The outcome will be the same, whether you file your taxes at the beginning of the tax season or on the tax deadline. So why continue to feel those feelings of dread throughout the tax season? It's such a long time to continue to feel so terrible, and your anxiety will only increase as you wait. Think about how nice it would be next year if you had everything in order and were able to file your tax return at the beginning of the tax season. You'd no longer feel the dread and anxiety all the way through the April 15th tax deadline, or even worse, if you decide to extend your tax return. Enjoy the relief of knowing you have someone on your team that understands the complicated tax laws, and they're working with you to save you time and money. Don't fear talking to your tax preparer or your accountant. They're on your side. They're working with you. They're part of your team. Ask the questions, get your answers, and let them help you create the peace of mind that you desire in your business. If you're experiencing similar feelings of dread or anxiety, and you're ready to find out how I can help you eliminate them and start enjoying your business again, Sign up for one of my free consultation sessions. You can go to financialadventure.com and click on the work with me button. I'm looking forward to meeting with you soon to help you not only start enjoying your business, but work on other issues that are holding you back in your personal life and your business. We'll work together to create your best work-life balance. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners and accountants where you're listening to this podcast. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you'll take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. Thank you.